and to keep the push-ups going strong after we've been attacking them for the last month after the 24-hour push-up challenge. So it's going to be three dumbbell exercises, back to back, push, lower, pull. We're going to start with a flat chest press, a dumbbell squat, and a dumbbell bent over row. Different variations each round. I'll let you know how the variation goes each round. We're going to switch it up. And immediately when that's done, right to pull-ups. We're just a short set, so it's going to be like five or six pull-ups, and then push-ups anywhere from 10 to 20. Just bang them out, just get a little extra touch, a short little break before we go to the next round. Reps, we're gonna keep between 10 or 12 to 15, even some rounds up to 20, 25. We want, we're looking for high reps, we're looking for some strength endurance, get the heart rate up, so we're building lean muscle while we are killing fat. I'm gonna get set up on my bench right here. My bench. Way over here. And that's what we'll be doing the chest press. It's just dumbbells, you can use kettlebells. We'll probably use kettlebells for the rows. I'll move this camera around with us so you can see it makes it a little brighter. Immediately, I can't see that well. I'm fucking blind. All right, so we're gonna get started right, right away on my bench for my chest press that seems to have just disappeared when I turn my back. I come to chit chat with you people, and someone takes my fucking bench. <laughs> this is outrageous. This Bob, is big I think it was chaos Robert back right here. How Robert happy! <laughs> I'm getting started. They can keep playing Russian musical yeah. chairs while I lift some damn weights. While I slang some Russian freaking steel. Keep with. And listen, don't think you have to start off heavy. I start off my sets. Look at this. 35 pounds in my first round to warm up. That's awesome. And I don't care how light it is or whatever. It's not here about lifting heavy. This is the first round we're going to warm up there. We're starting with a double arm set of chest press. Oh, the shoulders are stiff from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Double arm set. It's going to go about 12 to 15 for this first round. Complete control. Breathe out and push it up. Exhale the way up, into the nose, the way down. Are you done already? Shoulders are tweaked. Bitch, how do you know that you're sitting You started when I was on 10. And you finished when I was on no. 12. So you did two no. reps. No, you finished when I was on 12. Right to a squat. Okay. Please squat, we're gonna, I'm going to start off with a lighter weight. The legs haven't even... Come on. He's going to hold a light dumbbell right here at the chest. For the set of squats. Get the legs warmed up a little more. Start with body weight. We did do a full warm-up rating. I'll be right for this. With foam rolling, stretch strap, and exercise band. Get the nose down. Breathe out and push up. Drive it up. This leg set, so it's going to be 10 to 12 for now. Just getting started. Okay, hit the light. Drive it. And that's good. Right into bent over rows. I'm going to use kettlebells for these. And I'm not walking them all the way across the damn town. So check this out. Bam, suckers. Shit. The whole stand, Bam, suckers. The whole stand in just dropped on me. So let's get a double pair of dumbbells, of kettlebells, right here. And it's going to be bent over rows, alternating arm. Right here. Now spin around. Look, it's like a carousel, so you can see from all different angles. Don't spin around. I'm just fucking showing it you. Just slow, controlled, alternating arms. Tight squeeze, abs are tight. We're about 12 each side. Guys, this has to be somebody on Facebook, otherwise you're all in the corner. Done. So that was our three exercises. I'm gonna take the mic stand. You know, it's actually a mic stand. I used to be a rock star. I used to use the guys and I played the guitar and I would sing. In case you didn't know that. Yeah. You can do what what what. You can hit the pull up right here. Pull up right here. If you guys do not have pull up, maybe you have a TRX. You can do rows with TRX. Whatever you have. 
Just giving you an option, few. Now, you can also just stick to the push lower pull without the pull-ups, okay? So it's up to you. And then right away is gonna be just a set of push-ups. And it's a short set. The first round, we're really just still warming up. It's just gonna be 10. Chest to the floor, though. Test the floor, feet together, quick, easy, set of 10. First round, down! That was hard. That was a hard round. That was a joke, it's just a warm up. Warm up round. So now in this break, all we're gonna do is hydrate, stretch, strip if we need to, hydrate, stretch, and strip. And then adjust the weights that we need to adjust, because we're gonna now be going up and weight and everything, because that was just warm ups. So we're still just getting loose stuff. That was really the first round. Joints aren't even totally warmed up yet. So we're just gonna stretch, shake, and adjust whatever weights. What the fuck does keep dropping for? Adjust to whatever weights we need to adjust. Angle that down. <laughs> so we'll go heavier weight on the chest press. Chest, we're gonna stick with double arm the whole time. You could also do alternating and single, but we've been doing so much stuff on our shoulders that alternating is a little bit different feel on your shoulders. So chest press, we're sticking double arm. The rows. We're gonna mix up between alternating double arm and single. Same with other exercises later. So let's get back to it after I take a damn sip. sip with, you also should have regular water besides your pre-workout drink. So you can stay. So you can stay. Hydrogenated. 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 Yes, we are a very educated family. Look at her. She's going crazy. But that's so not we're increasing the weights here. Chest press. A little heavier. Every round we're gonna go heavier and heavier. Oh, chest press, and you're not. But still high rep. We're looking for reps here, today. We're not looking for any massive amount. Right here to the chest press. We're going to go about 15. Complete control. Elbows tucked in a little bit. Stick your chest out. Breathe out. Through your mouth on the way up. In through your nose, way down. Out through your mouth. Control down. No bounce at the bottom. Drive it up. Drive, drive, drive. And I'm yapping so I can't count when I yap. I have no clue how many I fucking did. I'm at 50. And we're going to dump those down. That means that you need to upgrade your weight. Grab your dumbbell, a little bit heavier. For our squat. Pull it right into your chest, pin it in. Your dumbbell is a man. You have an imaginary dumbbell. Grab the dumbbell. Get through the nose on the way down. Sit back on the hips and heels. Don't let that weight pull you forward. In down. Exhale. Breathe it out. Abs are strong. Back is straight. You can go anywhere 10, 12, 15, 20, whatever. Over the bench, over rows. This round's gonna be double arm. We're gonna increase the weight. And there's midgets running across the floor. That's gonna stop running across the floor, but then get back to the heaven of weight. So we're going double arm. Double arm on these rows. A little heavier of a weight. So that's both arms going together. Not alternating like we did last round. And next round we're gonna go single arm. Squeeze those little ways together. Back is totally straight. Not pulling forward. Abs need to be tight. Core needs to be tight. Your abs, your abs need to be tight. Not your stomach, because your stomach's an organ. Dig, dig, dig. No, no, 15 each. 15 ish. 15 and finish. 15 ish. 15. It's 15. I'm going to run over with my mic stand. This is the mic stand. I told you more on how you should be a gymnast. 
we're going to do to do the pull ups or, or whatever you have. Right here. Pull ups right here. You guys know the order right now, right? So just keep on going. Kathy, what you've been up to? Isabel, Chase, guys, listen up. We have, come here. I did so Okay. We have an amazing application now that you can have all the workouts at the palm of your hand. Send us a message and keep going. Right here. Push ups. We did 10 last round, but it's going up to 12. Just adding on top of it. 12. So you know the pull-ups, the three dumbbell exercises, you rearrange this. I stand back over for my singing performance. The three dumbbell exercises. Fuck. Sing for us. Sing. The three dumbbell exercises are the main part of the workout. I'll talk while I strip. Now we're getting warmed up. The three dumbbell. What is this looking for? Duh, duh. It's the main exercise. We're just adding in the pull-ups and the push-up for just extra work throughout the round. That's it. That's not even the real part of the round. The real part of the round is those three dumbbell exercises, that circuit. So we're trying to make it harder just by working on our pull-ups every day, even days that pull-ups aren't part of the program. And we work so hard on push-ups over the last month for the 24 hour push-up challenge that we don't want to lose the progress we made in the chesticles. The chesticle, the chesticle area. We want to keep the chesticles pumping, so what does that mean? Some push-ups, pull-ups and push-ups. Pretty much every freaking workout. Hydrate, stretch, and strip. Hydrate, remember, yeah, have your hydrogenation. You have to be hydrogenated. Exactly. And hydrogenation. Keep on stripping. Oh, I can't fit over my shoes. I gotta take my shoes off. You are lucky, listen Instagrams and Facebooks over there. You are lucky that you don't, this isn't like the future technology and you don't have smell-o-vision, because if you had smell-o-vision, you'd smell these feet right now. And that'll really, that'll really wake you up in the freaking morning. Oh yeah. You just gave an idea. That smells good. The right, the right sneaker smells like roses and the left sneaker smells like peaches. Can you imagine the taste that would, you would smell? Smell Stop. peaches and roses. Smell a vision. So listen, in between these rounds, especially as we start increasing the weight and increasing the reps, you have to have a break in between the rounds. We're doing circuits, we're literally doing five exercises in a row, and four of them are upper body. The lower body is getting a little bit of a break because we went so hard on it the last couple days, and also we're doing a couple hours of bike riding here tonight as a second workout, so the legs are not getting a ton of workout now. So you should add in some kind of run. What is up over there? What is this looking at my breasticles for? <laughs> so, realize you need a break in between these rounds, no matter what shape you're in, because we're going heavier and we're going longer, rep, longer, uh, higher number of reps. So you need the break in between these rounds so that you can get a full set coming up. Not touch. Stretch it, and we're going to increase the weight and we're going to increase the reps. So the weight's going to go up and the reps are going to go up. We're going to go heavier weight, and we're going to go about 20 reps here, or See how it happens, see what happens. <laughs> 20 reps over until the weight falls on my face. Excuse me. Excuse me, nothing. No problem. problem. Do one hundred today. Not one hundred pounds. I'm not looking for heavy weight today. You're trying to make me look stupid on the Instagrams. Hundred pounds falling on my damn chest. Alright, let's do it. Hi heavier weights, higher reps. Round number three. I think. Yeah. Three. Let's roll! Yeah. Go at least 15 this round. 15 to 20. Bang it out.
down, sucker. Oh, you want to keep going? Don't worry, one. All right, sucker. Oh, 22. 23. Oh, keep up, sucker. 24. 25. All right, tie. 25. 26. Uh, you, yeah, but you stopped like five times. Bang that shit out, sucker. I'm going to take a break. I'll have a cup of coffee in between. You're going to do all that shit. All right, right to the squats. Right to the squats. Listen, along the way, if you have any questions, comments, put them down there below. Let's talk about it. I'll be checking them in between. Especially if you have breaks in between every circuit. We need a break. So put them in there. We're also doing heavier weight on the squat, but we're not going as high reps on the legs because the legs need a little recovery from the crazy workouts and the workout we did. What we did yesterday. Oh, yeah, this is cardio, body weight. Breathe it out. And we're doing a couple hours of bike riding later. To prepare for April 3rd and 4th, 24 hour bike ride challenge for charity. Coming up. Is it also 12 inch public? Yep. Is it going to be like that for all the challenges? We'll see how it goes. It's going to end on Easter. Easter Sunday. Woo! And you're not going to get any breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to get We'll be suffering on Easter. Eat not eating some fucking okay. marshmallow. Some little marshmallow duckies or some nasty artificial oh, color no, bullshit duckies. like that. All right, bent over rows. We're going single arm. Right, on the, on the and heavier weight. How are you doing this? What weight is this? Maybe the bunny will come. This one is 20, 24 kilograms. We talk kilograms in Russian household. Yes, that's right. It is kilos. <laughs> kilos of cocaine. Kilos. All right, we're going single arm. Pick an arm, any arm. Mitch, please stop walking circles around where we're lifting weights. <laughs> Mitch. Yeah. Can you two stop cutting across the weight room floor? It's like cutting across a minefield. You don't know what could happen. Shit might just go off. Let's go, single arm rows. 20 per side. That was not a set. I don't know what that was, but you wiggled for about four seconds and you put the weights down. Hell no, not live on camera, especially. You gotta be shitting me, kid. It's not a set either. <sighs> Uh, it's supposed to be 20. Ah. It's got to be close. 21. The Instagrams, you got to count for me because I'm sitting here babbling, making sure a little freak show ain't bullshitting. I get a shit. All right. right. Oh, Other side, 20. Side. Side. Squeeze the whole right side of your back. I haven't seen it, so if I didn't see it, it doesn't count. Fifteen. I'm telling you right now. Nineteen. Twenty. Hey, Mitch. Wait a <laughs> So next we're gonna go over to the pull-up. Nothing was going on off camera. Don't worry about that. Nothing was going on off camera. There was no child abuse going on or anything. Don't you worry. We're going on pull-ups. But I want everybody to see that you do pull up. Oh, yes, Chase. 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 We still have Halloween decorations up. It's fucking March. It's Who like, Chase, huh? We're saying the Valentine's Day or something. No, that's We're saying say someday. Say St. Patrick's Day. We still have Halloween decorations up hanging outside of our house. There's something sick about the neighbor. I can't imagine why the neighbors don't invite us over for tea and biscuits. Tea and biscuits. Let's do it. Try out these grips. I hope these don't snap. These snap, I will fuck my knees up on these weights. Push-ups. We're going up by two every round. If push-ups are just a throw-in, we're going to... 14! Jeez! 14! 14! 
14 on the push ups. Let's roll. Easy 14. And that's the round. So we're back to our favorite part of the round. The Break. hydration, stretching, hydrogenation, hydrogenation, and the clothing removal as we get more warmed up. And I have my little pre workout right here. That's everyday fit. What are you drinking? Everyday fit. Everyday fit? Two different kinds. Two different kinds, concoctions of everyday fit? Yes. What's your favorite drink from Herbalife, Bronca? So that was three rounds. We're gonna, we pretty much hit the top of the weight that we're going to because we want to stay in the ranges of 15 to 20 to 25 reps. So we're not going to go any heavier. That's not the effect we're looking for right now. So we're going to stick with the weights, the dumbbells. I'm just using 50 pounds. And that's fine with me. That 50 pound dumbbells, I don't care what your level is. You're doing the right way, the right type of circuit, the right type of technique. That's all you need. Shit, I could, I'll use 25 pound dumbbells to get a killer workout. No, there's no ego here about how much weight I need to lift. That's the way it goes. So we're going to go round four, stick with the chest press. The bent over rows are also going to be 50 pound kettlebells, but they're going to be back to alternating, back to the first way that we did them, which was alternating. So we did alternating the first round, if you remember, then double arm, then single arm for the rows. Now we're back to alternating for round four. We're probably going around six rounds of these. And that's just the first group. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. I have another hour before any calls. So keep stretching because these rounds should be wearing your damn body down, should be getting your heart rate up. It's five straight exercises, all at decent weight at this point, all with high reps. You're working on building lean muscle, burning fat, getting your heart rate up, working on your strength, your conditioning. Make sure you have Keep working, keep it hydrated. Make sure you have that. Have that Do a commercial for progress right now. Here. Yeah. Medium, light, and heavy. All right. We are. We're getting ready to go. We don't need that much of a break. We want to keep the pump going. We want to keep the pump going. I just spit all over you. Sorry, Instagram. Just spit the hell all over you. After those high reps of chest press, adding in the push-ups and the chest work we've been doing all this time with these push-ups, the chesticle area is just feeling phenomenal. Don't kick me in the chesticles. Quite phenomenal. Oh, awesome. Like an over the top way of saying, like, oh, this is phenomenal, like amazing, awesome, great, super fantastic. Well, it means tremendous because not a lot says that. A large amount, important, like a very well, much amount. Tremendous. 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 This, this, the herbal life, herbal life is tremendous. Who very, very important to, to, to hydrate. Very important. Very, well, very important. Said, <laughs> very important. <laughs> A tremendous amount of weight. A tremendous amount of weight. Twenty. Let's roll. Twenty uh, again. Assistant. Twenty pounds. Uh, this little shit's got twenty pounds. I only have fifty. He's gonna be doing more than me soon. Let's do it. Go. Round four. I don't know. Where's the mark? How many are you doing? Yeah, Endless. you doing? You doing twenty six again? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see it, sucker. <laughs> Suckers. Three, two, one. We rolling. Get that chest out. What are you stopping for? 11, 12, 13, 14.
repetitions. Repetitions are important. Very important. Very, very important. Very important. I only did 15. You did 15? Little freak show here. Just did 15 reps with 20 pounds in each hand. That's fucking crazy. That's like half your body weight total. That's like 25% of your body weight in each hand doing it for 15 reps. That's like chopping you into four pieces and grabbing this amount of you and lifting up in each hand. What'd you do, Mace? I did 35 with 25. 35 reps? He says she needs eight or five pound numbers. 35 reps. Time for you to step up the weight. That was too easy. All right, we're going to the next round. What do we got on here? You hear me? Oh, this is Salt, this Salter. We have an interview coming up today. I hope you're still on there live. Can you scoot over here in my squatical position? Thank you, appreciate it. All right, squats. I'm not going heavy on these either because this is circuits. This is a 50 pound dumbbell. Just pin it to your chest. Come on, show it. Throw it down. Show, you freaks. And throw those down, breathe it out. We're going to go 12 to 15. Control Is down, no bouncing. Control. Oh yeah. yeah. No idea what I'm on because I'm babbling. We'll go five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Ah. Alright, we're sticking with the 50 pounds or 53 pound kettlebells. We're bent over rows. And they're gonna be alternating. So we can shift over. Right there. Right there. So we'll grab the two. Bend over low. The pair of 24 kilogram. 24 kilogram kettlebell. I like kettlebell. He likes the way he likes it. Yes. And we're gonna alternate arms. Excuse me, your butt is blocking the whole. Is, is always we're blocking. on a 75 inch screen here and your so butt is blocking my whole view! And her car And the car Let's go! Bend over rows. Heavier weight, alternating arms. 15 for side. Body. Bent over rows of 50 pounds. These pull ups are going to be fun. See what happens. Maybe I'll get one. Can ah. you do pull ups on the side there? Like a good one. I want to see. Yeah. Go. Put me on camera. Slower. Higher. You are doing three, oh, four without help. I'll take it. She got freak show. Freak right, show you boy. Gotta, you gotta rest watching my set. There's, look at the spider. Halloween decorations. Look at that. Only in the freak house in the neighborhood. Still got fucking. Nice work, work, guys. And inside, you'll see we still have a Christmas tree. It's just how we roll. It's just how the freak finishes rolls. All right. Going to push ups. Where are we on? 16? 18? 16! 16 push ups. This is round four. We're adding two every round. 16. Go! Push-ups. 
as you can't see them. Look at this, how we do push ups. We're freaking big, man. We are freaking big. Huh? Oh yeah. Fuck, I need a break. Hold my chest out, that was kind of hard. Look at that barrel yeah. chest. Look at that barrel chest. Alright, so we're taking a break. You need a break after this stuff in between rounds. And it's not even a break. Mario Estrada, what's up? Full training session on here. If you're just jumping in now live, you can watch this later. Just a pair of dumbbells, all you need for a full total body training session. What do you have? That we are getting in to mix in with your cardio, of course, and you're running. And this is the type of way, Mario, this is the type of way you should be lifting for endurance, lifting for weight loss while you're still building and maintaining lean muscle, still keeping some strength, but more strength endurance. This exact routine which you're doing right now and variations of this routine. So watch it back from the beginning. Download it, save it, save it, click save, share it. A little hydration. Hydration, not hydration. Still sitting away on the pre-workout. We still got a long way to go. Long way to go. So we're doing. Shit, we're doing 30 reps with the dumbbells there. Then the squats. Then the 40 reps on the bent over row, eight pull-ups, and 16 push-ups. Your muscles need a break, otherwise we can go right away, but you're not gonna get the same set. We want that same set going. That was five exercises in a row. We did a crazy cardio session yesterday. The shoulders were a little sore. Legs were sore. Not for you, sucker. So get, get ready. He knows us. We're going to start the next round. And adjust your weights if you have to. Keep those reps, these sets, in between 15 and 20. That's what we're looking Wait, for now. That is, is the, heavy one. No. You have this just on the, the breasts the whole time. Like, <laughs> well, because this is your main part. <laughs> the chest workout, she's got to zoomed in on the chesticles. Check that out. Look at that. <laughs> Get ready to go. A couple seconds. All right. Even though the muscles aren't fully recovered, they're not going to be. We don't want them to be. We're going to ride the wave. So it's going to get a point where we're going to top out during the workout. After a hard, hard round, you don't want to rest and recover for 10 minutes. So just after a couple minutes, whatever it is, it might start dipping. So we'll still try the same weight. Might not get 30 reps this time. We're going to see where it goes. But it might start lowering at some point. What the flip is going on with my bench? He just took my 25 pound dumbbell right now. So you're lifting the same weight as an eight year old boy. Yeah, nine! Nine year old, whatever. He just took my 25 pound dumbbells in the chest. Hold on, let me keep those away. Let's do it. One last bang on the chest. Ha! King Kong that shit. Oh, King Kong that shit. Okay, I'm going to try to do this on my own. Dude, it's fall on your face. It's going too much damage. I can't do much more damage. I can spot you right here. Let's do this. Come on, face. Daddy, I'm doing 16. Daddy, I'm doing 16 pounds. 16 pounds? Wow. Eight in each hand. 80, 10? Yeah, eight in each hand. Nice. Good job. Yeah, five is sweet for you. All right, chest. Yeah. Chest yeah, that again. Let's do this, guys. Cindy. Do it. I can literally feel my legs. Come on. Because yeah. Let's do it. Come on there. Get, remember, pounds. get your legs to help get in position. Go. Do it! He's got 25, I have 50. Kid's doing half my weight. Little shit. <laughs> but how many you gonna do, sucker? <gasps> and you're not even on the you're on the Facebook account. Instagram, all Instagram sees is your knees. You're doing knee exercises. <laughs> Let's roll! I did not see your eight pounds. 
I wanted to see. The Instagram wants to see it too. Everybody wants to see it. Go, show me eight. Oh, show me chest She's press. busy talking and looking over you while I'm doing this. I have Go. no clue what I'm on. I know it's not 30. That's Go, sure. show me. Show me, Ivanka. Show. Ah, show everybody. But there's a time. Go, go, go. The reps. We'll start going down. The That's show will be off. Oh. Yeah, so I'm talking to the wall now. You're just turning my shit off me. She's made on the camera right now. Did you, did you oh. set? No, she wanted to show everybody. Here, do your set over my squats. Go. Next. Oh, my squat. Oh, my. Squat time. You are fine. You don't need a it. spot for that. That's easy. You do not need spot. You're live on the Instagrams. You have no bullshit now. You got no choice no. but to slang some steel. Double arm. Double arms for me are actually a little harder almost than alternating. What? For some reason alternating just gets me in the groove. Uh, gets me in the groove. Uh, yeah, bitch. Uh, Cooking big. Doing the chest press. Okay, high five. I have to hire, you guys know, I have to hire an assistant that just wipes my ass when I take a dump because I can't wipe my own ass because I work chest so much. Can't even reach around to wipe my own ass. Oh yeah, let the rules. Let's go. Let the rope. Oh, that's starting to catch up. Feels good. push-ups at this point. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Ooh. 18 push-ups. Let's roll! Chest touches the floor, feet together. Hi, it's no, it should be one more. Hi, it's a Y, H Y. Hydra is H Y, H Y. All right, so that was Hi. five rounds. Hi, five Hi. rounds of five exercises. Hi, Six, you did 25 sets so far. We're up to 20 to 30 reps. Most of these rounds, 15 reps minimum. 
It's a lot of work in a short amount of time, which is why you should be out of breath. Your heart rate should be up. You should be sweating doing a strength workout. You should need a recovery in between rounds or circuits or sets or whatever. If you don't, keep fucking going. You shouldn't have stopped. Or you're not going hard enough for that round. Like, I'm not ready for this next round. Shit, we're doing one more round in that group. I'm not ready for it anytime soon. If I do it right away, with those 50 pound dumbbells, I'll be lucky if I get 10. Who knows? So we're gonna wait and recover, but it's active recovery. It's moving your body. We're also moving yapping your gums because I'm yeah. shit chatting with you freaks. Take some message to the freaks. We're gonna move and recover. Oh, it's only 10.53. I don't have my next meeting until 11.30. We got a lot of time. And we only got one more time with this group. Then we're playing the same game with three different exercises for another three, four rounds or whatever we have time for. And that's just workout one for the day. Then we got bike riding later. Workout. We have reading time every day. This pre workout is good. Hey, this my pre workout. Move, stretch, stretch your chest, stretch your shoulders, move them, rotate them so they don't stiffen up, keep the blood flowing, stretch your tries. Oh, yeah. Stretch your squats out. The squats you're doing. Even the bent over rows, that stabilization is working a ton in your legs also. Your legs and core. Stretch the glutes. Get ready, you got one more time with this group. We're gonna keep all the weights the same. 25 again? Huh? Unless, you, unless your last round was too heavy that you couldn't get high reps, we're looking for at least 15 reps right here. So if your weight was heavy, on any of these exercises, you couldn't get 15 reps. That means you need to. Did we do double on that round on rows? Yeah. We did. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, I did double arm. Thank you, man. Yeah, screw that up. No, we did all thing first. That was double on that last round. Yeah. So this round for rows is single arm. Not all time. I just asked you to do all thing. You said, yeah. And I said, we no. double arm. You said, yeah. Oh. You know what they're saying? Double arm? Yes. So this round is going to be single arm on the rows. So if any of these exercises you couldn't get at least 15, it means your weight's too heavy or your muscles get too fatigued, so you need to just drop the weight a little bit to get still get the same reps. Don't stay the same weight and struggle for seven or eight. It's not what we're looking for here. All right. Enough yapping. Time to make it happen. Uh, no, yeah, Let's go. Time to make it happen. Wait, Mom, I need to No more fucking yapping. Let's make it fucking happen. I like that. Of course you like it. <laughs> I go. like that. Go. Show me. Right. Show me ten to twelve. Let's see what we got. One more time with this group. Ha! Let's roll. There's 
10, let's go five more. And bam, those are done. We're going to bent rows. Bent rows are going to be single arm. Bent rows. Single, yes, no excuses. No, I reached over to the camera who's on, zoomed in. Let's do it. Single on back row. Ken Dalbell. I need the 25 pounds. Kilograms. Let's go. Single arm. 20 per arm. Especially on a long round. So your lower back's not fading. It's hard to hold that position. One. Right on the other side. Per arm, and we're going over to pull ups. Oh, yeah! Pull up time. Slanging steel! Hands Going eight pounds around like it's Don't a toy! Down. Like it's Don't a freaking Barbie doll! No, no, like this. The whole finger's over. And then one shot. Go, go, press. 20 push ups. Go on the way down. Can't go higher than 20 there. Like that. Press, Next press, group press. Tense with elbows really good. And again, press, breathe Let's out. Do it! Ha! Breathe out. Okay. Squats. 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 Twenty. Just the right elbow feels it again. The flashbacks of that twenty-four hour push-up day, when every rep for fourteen straight hours was like bone popping out of bone. Dang it! That was the first time we stopped right here. Tyson's down there, finish off his set. All the way up there, extend the arms. Extend the arms. So this next round, next group. That group is done. Liz, what are you doing over there? So that group is done. This group's gonna be shoulder presses. Dumbbell shoulder presses. For this round, dumbbell shoulder press. Kettlebell deadlifts, and then dumbbell bicep curls. The shoulder presses and the bicep curls are going to switch variations, just like the bent over rows, where one round will be double arm, one round alternating, and one round single arm. Deadlift, we're just going to go with kettlebells. Not, we're not doing crazy heavy deadlifts. Again, we're doing circuits. 
And same thing, shoulder, shoulders and, and biceps will be light to moderate weight. And this is just a throwing round. Technically, that, what we just did was really a full workout. It was more than a full workout. could be done. So we're just going to hit the finishing touches on the shoulders. The guns. Welcome to the gun show. Look at these guns. Look at these guns. You can't see them. Guns. I don't see any. That gun. Show the guns. guns. Take off the long sleeve. Oh, rock. Show the guns. So that's what the next round is going to be. And we're still adding in the pull-ups and the push-ups. Pull-ups, we're just going to do whatever at this point after shoulders and thighs. Pull-ups, pull-ups. Whether it's five or six or eight again, whatever it is, push-ups. Okay. We're going to put it back down to 10 to 15. <clears throat> just because you still got to be smart. And it's throwing. Shit, pull-ups and push-ups weren't even part of the workout. We've already done six sets of push-ups. Push 10, 12, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So... Over a hundred, okay. or almost. I'm gonna do the math. Getting to it. It'll be by the time we're done. And that's just a throwing. And then pull-ups, we did eight times five plus six. Shit, almost 50 push pull-ups. And that's just throwings. That's just for bonus rounds. And we're not done. So, get ready for shoulder press. Shoulder press, don't need to go heavy. The shoulder's got so much work already on the chest press, on the, on the push-ups. So these shoulders are gonna be dumbbells, not gonna be crazy heavy. Same with the push-ups. Last shoulder. 10, 10, 0, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I got 90. Wait, let me show the test. 3, 2, 6, yeah. Couple seconds, we're getting ready to go. Okay, we did 90 push-ups. Let's test it out before. If you could be live on one phone on Instagram and do a story on another phone on the same Instagram account, and it worked. But now this phone isn't catching the Wi Fi. What the hell? Wi-Fi connect. What's up with that? How are we doing, freaks? Janine Pato, who is training with us? Marie. All right, so we're getting ready for the shoulder presses. This first round is going to be just double arm. You could go palms forward, palms in, whatever feels better on your shoulders. Sometimes I'll start forward and maybe shift in. The alternating, I usually go in. The double, I go out. Do what works. See what happens. You don't need crazy weight, not even crazy reps. I was pressing it. It should be once on the thing. Why don't you get 25? Let's go. Let's do it. Shoulder press. Double arm. Points forward. Oh, yeah. Shoulders are a little tweaked, so I'm going to angle this a little different. Palms in. So you gotta switch right from palms forward to palms in. Does it mention how sometimes I do it? Look, I did. Just didn't feel like the right angle for me today, so I switch it. Who cares? Oh yeah. Deadlifts, we're also not going crazy heavy. You could use a trap bar. Sit over there. We're using just a kettlebell. So we still have a lot of leg work to do later with the bike. So I'm just going to use a single kettlebell. We're worried about work. We're worried about, about getting in shape and staying in shape. Not about how much weight we can lift so then we blow our back out or some dumb shit. I can sit and deadlift 300 pounds, 400 pounds, but that's not going to get me where I need to be. So we're going to grab this cannonball of a kettlebell and that's what we're deadlifting. Yeah. But for a deadlift, it's a big kettlebell. For a kettlebell, it's big, but for a deadlift, it's actually very light. I'm gonna get an army up for this one, baby. For 18. Yeah, but think about it. Versus this is how I give the secret. So let's just pretend it was heavier. It looks so big. It almost looks as big as this. This is 106, that's 18. And it looks the same size almost. Because this is very deadly. Plus, it's Right into bicep curls, which this round is also going to be double arm. Both arms going together with the elbows stuck in at the sides. Right here. Elbows at the sides, palms, so the weight right in front of the thighs. 
Both arms together. Stop. Ready at five. Referee. Control it. Don't bounce it. Don't sway your body. Slight bend in your knees. Back is tight. Back is straight. Abs are tight. Complete control. Control that. Resist down. Getting the work on the way down also. Four more. Okay, so I'm going to change. Means you are a magnet to hard objects. So there's a bicep curls. We're going to go to pull ups and see what happens. Actually, there's a bicep curls. It's getting late in the game. We are already. Regular pull up. Those are bullshit. You're bouncing your toes. There you go. Just grind out. Just one or two or three. Nice. How many was that? Three? Yeah. Ooh, nice. good job. At this point, three full. One or two or three? Overhand good pull ups. Good job. So you guys had an option to remember between doing the pull up or the TRX row. Push ups. But however, we're done going off on push ups, or at least I am. You do whatever you need to. Even you with the TRX, back. you can install the TRX so you can pull yourself up on the motorbike a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or you can jump and pull, right? But with the TRX, you're going to be right here, from the rib cage, extending the arms, but not dropping it completely. Pull yourself in with full control over the arms. Well, kind of. Stop, 12. It was an easy, easy 12, but I'm going to get this all good. Feels and that's so good. Centers. It's around. We're going at least two more rounds with this group because we're going to go alternating, alternating on the shoulders and buys and then single arm. Trying to round in for the time that you got 20 minutes. Can you go around with it? You got it. That would be good. Time to round yourself. <laughs> We're looking to stay fit all year round, to be well balanced with strength, conditioning, cardio, endurance, strength, but also strength endurance. This is the type of training we do. This is literally pretty much the training we do all year round. Just by changing some of the parameters. <laughs> changing some of the parameters, like the rep ranges, order of the exercises, whether we do double, alternate, single, three exercises in a row, six exercises in a row, nine exercises in a row, 12 exercises in a row. So just tweaking it like that week to week. But this is how we train all year round. You rarely will see meathead, single muscle group, that, that, that's how you don't stay in shape all year round, usually, for the majority of the people. Some of the juice heads and stuff out there, and people who are, that works for them, but most people don't. Most people doesn't work. I want to stay fit and athletic, and I want to be damn near top shape all year round. Not three, four months away from top shape. I want to be ten days away from top shape. Three weeks from, like, the best shape of your life at all times. So always being ready, always training like this is what it takes to stay fit and in shape and in summer shape all year round. There's no you get ready for the summer and the winter, whatever this bullshit you see all over the internets. Fuck. Be ready for the summer all year round. 
the hell are you going to do? Because it's winter, you want to be fat? Because winter, you're, you're going to knock it. What do you got to do? What if you have to take your shirt off in the middle of winter? What are you going to do then? Oh, it's winter, so I'm on, the, I'm on my whale workout season. No. Whale workout? No. He held like this. Stay in shape all year freaking round. All right, let's do it. Shoulder press. Shoulder press. Yes, it's a oh, whale workout. I don't give a fuck. So what? We're going to be pressing it. Oh. So. Palms in. Alternating this round. Go. Eagle Austin, hell yes. Ah. On the kettlebell. What are you doing with my weight? You know, should be doing your weight. Yeah. One time. This is my weight. He wants to deadlift 100 and something pounds. That's 20, 25% higher than his body weight he wants to go do. Hurry up. You, I got to get in there. 25% of the free show's body weight. Man, stop acting like it's going to be so hard. You do that shit easy. Oh, my God. That's a joke. 106 pounds. All right. So if you're doing like heavy workouts, right, but you can't do freaking 10, 15 pull-ups, what's the point? You've got all that mass and size. If you can't run a mile or run up a flight of fucking stairs without huffing and puffing, what's the point? You should be able to run a sprint. You should be able to run a mile. You should be able to run 10 miles. You should be able to hike. You should be able to go uphill. You should be able to go downhill. You should be able to have balance. You should be able to have coordination. You should be conditioned to play football. You should be conditioned to play basketball. You should be conditioned for boxing. Soccer. You should be conditioned for soccer, for tennis. All different energy systems. Conditioned for any of them at any time, all year round. Or else, what is the point? You can't watch long. It'll be on there recording. You can check it. It's a full entire workout. Eagle Austin. It'll be on. It'll be right on the page. We'll post it onto the page after a full training session. Check it out. Let us know how it goes for you. Biceps. Alternating arms. Daddy, I think we got like half an inch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a half an inch of your intestines poking out of your belly and stuff. Yeah. Alternating arms, let's go. <laughs> That's where you got to get to. Let's go bang it out. Tyson, get up. Get up there. Nice. Speak out one more. Rip the bar down. Bring the bar down to you. Nice. Three after all that is freaking awesome. Three full overhand real pull-ups. 
Biceps have to go sing along. So we got time for one more round. Yes. And now I gotta get on coaching calls and private coaching calls with coaching clients and project sales calls coming up. Private coaching calls, the way it goes is it's one on one, high level, peak performance accountability coaching where I meet with the clients once per week on a live video coaching call. It can be 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Help them out in their mind, their body, and their business to have more discipline, more energy, more confidence, to take more action, and to be them freak selves and elevate in all areas of life. Not just the mind, not just the body, but to make more freaking money. And that's what private coaching is. It's operate to dominate, peak performance, one-on-one -on -one accountability coaching. And then right after that, I have some project sales calls and then actually a project interview with a previous project graduate's wife, just talking about the impact that the project has had on their family, on their business, on their finances, and just their life in general. And that's all coming up for the rest of the day. The project, if you don't know already, is a 75 hour, highly immersive, physical, mental, and emotional experience for men, where you're gonna get a chance to live and train and learn with the United States Marine, with a Navy SEAL, with a SWAT officer, with a martial arts expert, with a business empire builder, where you're learning to kill the inner bitch and unleash the beast that is within inside you. And this is all done through a physical breakdown to have a mental, emotional, social, spiritual, and financial breakthrough. It's about break down to break through. That's what the project is all about. And you could also attack the hill and kill the hill. You could attack the hill, attack the hill and kill the hill. So that's what the rest of the day looks like after this round for me. It's private coaching calls, project sales calls for candidates who want to join the project, we have to make sure they're a good fit for the program before we allow them into this elite brotherhood of men. And then also project, it was called the MDK Wives Interviews, MDK Wives, Modern Day Night Wives Interviews. And these, I'm telling you, are more impactful than, than speaking to the men, the actual graduates, because we're seeing it from the other side of the tracks, from the other side, the another perspective from what was life like before the project, what was it like? building up to the project, and what's it like now, two months, six months, some of these guys a year, two years after graduating, how is their life, how is their finances, how is their relationships improved, that's what the interviews are all about, and you'll look out for those that release them. Now enough babbling, we gotta get back to this round and finish off last round of the day. I gotta roll, I gotta roll. Single arm, single arm shoulder press. Let's do it. 
Back on, he's jumping in for a, run, a set. So I like, just hop in. Okay. Get a couple rounds in. Keep your energy levels up throughout the day. Single arm. Oh, I'm guessing Austin means you're from Austin, duh. Unless that's your name. Like Steve Austin. Steve Austin. Wrestler, WWF. Oh, that's like the 90s. Oh, you have him, the zombie. It says like oh, 316 on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the black. Is it the black vest on? Oh, yeah. Bald. Let's see. Oh, don't touch my thing. Mitch, don't touch any part. You said South Dakota. South Dakota. Oh, so see, Austin wasn't. Far along from South Dakota. Freaking awesome. Switch it over. Ooh. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Pause that top squeeze, control it down. Single arm on the buys. So this is nine rounds of five exercises. That's 45 sets after the full warm up with all the bands and all that other stuff. So we've done 45 sets here with you. We did six sets of the first group, six rounds of the first group, three rounds of this group. It's three exercises plus pull ups and push ups. 45 freaking sets. That is how you freaking roll. Seven Stop more minutes. Up. What's going on? Seven more minutes. All right, pull ups. Biceps. That's the close of the day. Oh, I'm just freaking throwing. Let's see if I can keep this string of eight going. The last set was fucking hard. Let's see what happens. Fuck it. Ha! Eight or die, bitch. Eight or die. Listen, if I stop for eight, you can punch me in the kidney as hard as you can. Free shots. Free shots if I stop for eight. Ready? Shit. How do I get him now? One, two, three. Ha! Stop, 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 stop. Shh. Punches. You on little, little shit was hoping to get me with some kidneys. You know how to pull up bars? Back down push up. Yes, we're going back. Push up for after this. Oh, you lost and you got to get yourself somewhere to do pull ups. So you can bang them out every day. They have ones you can hang right on a, a door Sweet. frame. Every time you walk through that fucking door frame, bang out three or four or five pull ups. You'll constantly be getting stronger. Pull ups are like the king. Take it. Hold it down. Last set of push ups. Where are you at? How do you know? Well over 100 push ups. The push ups are only part of the workout. These are just bonus sets. So, last set of push ups. Bang it out. Let's do it. Ha! Let's do it. Suckers! Going to 20. What? Let's go. Okay. Okay. Woo! Ha! Woo! Good. Woo! Woo! 20. Oh, yeah. That elbow is feeling good. All right, freak shows. No, workout's done. Workout's done, Mitch. You said 11.30 and 12.20. Yeah, but I got to get going. Yes, working on that pull-ups. Done, Tyson. I got to run and get on these phone, on these coaching okay. calls. Got to go make my post-workout drink and go get on these coaching calls. Unless your freak shows out there, these live workouts are going to be available for you every single day on Instagram, on Facebook, completely live, completely free, and they're always on the page for you to check later. We also post a different video, a different workout every single day on both of our YouTube channels. So make sure you're following us on YouTube. You'll have never ending, no excuses for not getting your workouts in. We're literally putting two workouts per day, minimum per day, full workouts, completely live, completely free, over on, on, on YouTube also. So I gotta run and get on these coaching calls. If you need any help with anything, with your mind, your body, your business, let's talk about it. If you are a man that knows you need to become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better entrepreneur, an even better leader, an even better fucking man, send me a message. Let's talk about the project. We'll see you. That's a four-day event held here in California, a live in-person event. See if it's a good fit for you. We'll jump on the phone, go through the interview process, see if you're a good fit to join this ongoing lifelong brotherhood of kick-ass, hungry, motivated, successful Men of fire who understand you, can relate to you, and are there to support you without expecting anything in return. That is the project is from bitch to beast. So if you need help with any of that, just send me a private message or just comment. I will talk to you later. I got to run. You are fucking awesome. 
No excuses. Free shows? Normal children, I can't imagine where you get it from. I gotta run. You're fucking awesome.